Okay, folks, uh, Joe here uh, at uh, Hobby Pros. Uh, I just thought I'd uh, kill a little time, make a little quick video. I'm currently uh, uploading something to uh, to uh, YouTube, and that takes forever, so just to kill time and not uh, screw up my screw up prone computer, I'd make a little quick video a couple things I got here. Uh, first, I got this... Uh, Ram, uh, real xenon strobite, whatever real xenon means, but, uh, it's kind of cool. I think I'm going to, uh, hook it up to the, uh, uh, Honey Badger Quad here. Uh, yeah, I think anyway, to give a little effect, extra effect, it's already got the lights and, uh, I showed that in a earlier video I shot today, but, uh, anyway, uh, let's, uh, see if we can plug this in one handed. Uh, since I'm holding my little Mobius cam to make the video, and by this video I'm working on is experimental because uh, I never did it before for one. But uh, we're gonna plug the nine volt in here, and uh, nine volt little electronic box here, Gizmo, and uh, I guess this is what's called the Xenon strobe. It's a little glass tube. Uh, where the strobe light actually is, but uh, we turn on the switch here. That's uh, pretty cool, man. It's pretty bright. Uh, I hope everybody can see that. But something neat. Uh, I'm gonna attach it to a quad or a plane or something. I used to think all these lights and effects were cheesy things that kids did, but the more I play with this kind of stuff, uh, the neater it is. Especially flying quads at night and stuff. Now I'm into lights and you know trying to attract attention, see if the cops will show up or People think they're seeing a UFO or something, you know. Um, so, anyway, shut that off. Over here, once again, I hope it's in the screenshot. But anyway, this is cool. This is a soldering jig that I picked up from uh, uh, my favorite place, Ready Made RC. And uh, it's neat. We'll just look at it real quick. When you order it, you only get one of these articulated, clampy, holdy thingies, you know. But, it, but I pop, pick, uh, sprung for the extra one because if you want to hold two wires together between the two and solder it nice and straight, it's nice to have two. Or this one down here I use for like a Dean's plug. Uh, Dean's plugs, if you didn't already know, whenever you solder these dumb things, and uh, you need to plug them in. You need to plug one into it because what happens is if you don't, and you're trying to solder and heat up this end here same on the other end it'll get hot it'll go at an angle in there and then your plug won't plug in right but anyway this is pretty slick here if I can handle this all one handed slips in there tighten it down see if I can make it work um, maybe this is the one supposed to go sideways I can't remember but anyway it goes in here uh, yeah, I'm gonna go buy me a tripod today. I'm gonna set this down. Yeah, I'm buying a tripod today. I'm not doing this crap like this anymore. Slides in there. I even got the maybe it's supposed to be this end one. I mean that's my freaking problem. Slides in there. Tighten it down. Holds that real secure. I actually thought it was better, but I'm not gonna worry about it today for this video demonstration. Anyway, that slides in there, holds that right there. Take the clamp that down again put your wire in here better yet let's use this other wire because it's already got like the way you should be doing it is the leads are uh, already tinned but this little arm holds it real nice and straight and you can see that I just put it down I usually put a little pressure on it so it kind of lifts the wire back up and normally I would have pre-tinned uh, the end the, the gold colored end here so when you uh, put your iron on it just kind of hold down on it it'll bend it right down to where it needs to be maybe even come in and add another little extra dot or two of solder take it off it sits there holds it nice straight perfect uh, you can't beat it you know let it sit for a while so it cools off and take it out and you're done it's soldered uh, so that's pretty slick this other side here is pretty neat the bullet connectors same thing here I'm gonna undo this wire Set that down again. Set that down again. Uh, 
Same thing here. If you're doing bullets, bullets need to be nice and straight because if they're not, it's a pain in the pain in the rear end to uh, get them uh, into the EC3s. If you're doing EC3s, but it's just nice, neat, straight. Always just looks better. And uh, so it looks, it holds it perfectly still. And then the bullets usually have a little hole in it where you can poke your soldering iron tip in there like so. And then uh, come back and uh, uh, while you're holding that in there, take your solder. You know, I got this is kind of slick little deal here. It comes out like that. While you're holding that in there, just feed it in there until it starts filling up and bubbling up. Let it sit. And when it cools off and hardens up like the solder is, you know, hopefully it looks all nice and shiny. Good, uh, good hot solder joint. And uh, let it cool off. And then when you unclip it, you know, if it was soldered, it would... It would stay nice, nice and straight, you know, nice and straight in there like it's supposed to be, and voila, you're done. Simple and easy. Makes things, makes life easy. I love this tool. This is one of the best investments I ever made. A little pricey, $29.95 or whatever, but hey, man, the, 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 just, <laughs> it makes soldering so much, so much simpler, you know, so much less hassle, you know. Um, so uh, that's about it. I'm hoping my other YouTube videos uploaded. And Joe from uh, Hybrid Pros, we'll catch you next time. See you, bye.